Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika. I'm Ben. What happens when you're a video game developer who claims to have maybe, kinda, sorta invented modern multiplayer as we know it? Well, a bunch of other developers come out of the woodwork and try to put you in your place and accuse you of lying and pretty much just say, go fuck yourself. Hmm, that's exactly what happened this week when id Software's creative director made some interesting comments in an interview, prompting a bunch of his former colleagues, including Doom creators Carmack and Romero, to air out some grievances and crap all over him in a very public fashion. And in the process, they gave us a bit of a history lesson in the formation of modern multiplayer gaming. Oh, this kind of developer slap fight is usually reserved for indie devs, but hey, at least we learned something this time. All the commotion started with a seemingly innocent interview between id Software creative director Tim Willits and PC Games N. Willits, if you don't know, is an old guard veteran of the studio and has been working with them since 1995, Whoa. back in the days of Quake. Uh, he cut his teeth on that series and eventually took over as lead designer for Doom 3. And now he's claiming to have created the concept of multiplayer-only maps in video games, hmm. meaning that multiplayer modes in games have their own separate maps rather than reusing single-player maps. It's kind of a big staple in how modern multiplayer works, you know, in general, so it's kind of noteworthy to claim that you created it. Speaking to PC Games in at QuakeCon, Willits told the story of how this staple of modern multiplayer happened. He said, I designed the shareware episode of Quake. Multiplayer maps? That was my idea. This is a funny story. I had finished all my work on the shareware episode of Quake, and because we had no design direction, we had all these fragments of maps. I came into the office one day and talked to John Romero and John Carmack. I said, I've got this idea. I can take these map fragments, I can turn them into multiplayer only maps, maps that will only play in multiplayer. He went on to say, they both said that was the stupidest idea they've ever heard. Why would you make a map you only play multiplayer when you can play multiplayer in single player maps? So I said, no, no, no. Let me see what I can do. And that's how multiplayer maps were started. True story. The drama. <laughs> but was it? Not according to, you know, all the guys he mentioned in that story and some of his coworkers from the time. <laughs> Id co-founder and Doom creator John Romero jumped onto his blog to air a few grievances with Willett's story, writing, As a game historian, I know it's very important to get the facts right. Figuring out the origin of significant aspects of games is important, and to document them is imperative. So when I wrote a story that said Tim Willett's invented the idea of multiplayer-only maps, I felt compelled to correct it. According to Romero, the story told by Willett's never happened. And in fact, they'd been playing Doom multiplayer-only maps for years prior to Quake. And who does he give credit to? The Doom community, who started creating multiplayer-only maps for the game well ahead of the developers, hosting their own legendary deathmatch maps. Romero also waxed historic about how even commercially, Willits' statements aren't true. That's because Tom Hall, another id co-founder who left the company to create Rise of the Triad, worked on them for that game, which released in 1994, well before Quake was released. Romero also gives commercial credit to Bungie's Marathon, released in December of that same year. Romero went on to write, Tim cannot claim this idea is in any way. He also took apart Willett's claim that he designed the shareware version of Quake, breaking down who created which map, and apparently, Willett's designed less than half of the game's nine maps. Yikes! <laughs> Romero also showed design documents which proved the first map was created by, well, him and not Willits. And Romero wasn't alone in his assertions either. His partner in crime, John Carmack, told Shack News he had no recollection at all of the story that Tim Willits told. The previously mentioned Tom Hall added his voice to the others as well, saying that Romero's telling of the events is the more accurate version. America McGee also emerged from the ocean. Like, no, seriously, he stopped making video games and is traveling the high seas now. To echo what both Carmack and Romero have said, he tweeted to John Romero's account calling Willits' story revisionist history, and even went as far as calling Willits a serial credit thief. Dude, he stopped sailing and everything just to call you the fuck out. Of course, we've seen things like this before online. The history of the internet and how so much of it came together was so organic and quick. There are all kinds of varying, disparate accounts of many foundational elements. It's definitely interesting to see all of these little pieces of gaming history come to the forefront. There's a lot about that time that wasn't documented near as much as everything gets documented online nowadays. And there's so much of this information that lives in the head of these developers that we're around to see it happen. Yeah, so props to Romero for shedding some light on the issue, and props to Tim Willits for whatever he actually did. Eh. What do you guys think of the spat going on between old and current id software developers? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on dev versus dev antics and American McGee riding on his two sharks, remember to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to the now. That's exactly what happened this week when, is that id or id? Why would you make a map when you... Romero also waxed historic about how even Romero went on to write, Tim cannot claim this idea is in any way. He also took apart Willett's claim that he designed the shareware version of Quake, breaking down who created the map and, or let's see, let's see.